Dracarys. What's up, cosplayers? EIA cosplayers. So today we're transforming ourselves into Daenerys Targaryen, half Daenerys and half dragon. And the first step is to block out your eyebrows on the side where Daenerys is going to be. And to learn how to do that, please click the link above. I have a tutorial teaching you just how to do that part. And for the next step, we are using foundation on the side where Daenerys is going to be. I am using two shades lighter than my own shade, but please never let color define your cosplay. You be whatever color Daenerys you want to be, purple, blue, pink, you do whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy, and that's all that matters. And now with translucent powder, I'm just setting that foundation, and I forgot my contacts again. Please do not do this. You have to put your contacts before you start their makeup, okay? I just always forget. And for the next step, we are using the Holy Urban Decay Game of Thrones Limited Edition Palette. We are going to use one little baby color from that palette, just to say I didn't use the Urban Decay Palette on this tutorial. So for the next step, we're using shade Nymeria, and we're going to use that on our eyelids. Now as you can see in the photo I'm referencing from Daenerys, she has a brown color which is very similar to this color in the palette. She uses it on her crease and on her lid, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So with a blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that all over my crease and my lid. So for the next step, we are using highlight and contour technique to change our face into the illusion that we look like Daenerys. So I'm highlighting any areas of the face that are brighter with powder, and I'm contouring any areas of the face that have shades in them. As you can see in the photo, her nose, and her upper lip, and the side of her lips. So I'm changing the shape of my nose to make it look bigger, and creating those little shadows and those creases where you see in the photo. Now since my face is long and skinny and hers is a little bit chubby, I'm also contouring my jawline to give the illusion that I have a fuller face. And now I'm using the Danessa Myricks Cream Cover Concealer just to reinforce that contour. And it doesn't matter if you don't have this product at home, all it is is a thicker, more pigmented concealer and if you have another option of that at home, you'll be just fine. So back to the eyebrows, we are overdrawing the eyebrows that we already blocked in the beginning of this tutorial. As you can see in the picture, she has very thick brows. So all I'm doing is with a brow pencil, I am drawing hair-like strokes until I get to that same shape and size of that eyebrow. If you find this part hard, please draw on the piece of paper first before you do it on your face. It helps a lot. And if you don't have the product that I'm using, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color dark brown, that's absolutely fine. You can use another color, another brand, as long as it's similar and you'll be good you'll be fine <laughs> And now with some mascara, apply them on your upper lashes. I'm using the huge mascara from Stila. And using the transition palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics, I'm gonna go ahead and use that blush color. Again, referencing that photo, I'm concentrating the blush on the tops of my cheeks. And to do so, I am smiling to help me guide myself where I need to apply the blush. Again, if you don't have this product, that is absolutely fine. All you need is a very pinky, rosy, and delicate blush, and you'll be good to go. And now I'm just reapplying that translucent powder under my eyes to make sure that I continue to have that brightness, that highlight. And I'm using the baking method and I'll sweep it away at the end of the tutorial. And now for the dragon side. So to glue down the adhesive, I'm using spirit gum. Please, if you have any allergies or fear any burning sensation, don't use it and use another option of adhesive, especially near your eyes. Be very, very careful, okay? And a really good tip for the prosthetic to glue down really easily is using dabbing motions on top of the glue to make it tackier, and that way the prosthetic will glue down no problem. And when the glue is tacky enough, you can go ahead and glue down the prosthetic. So let's talk about this prosthetic. I got it from MostlyDead.com. It's called the Roswell Alien Prosthetic Mask. I know it's for an alien, but I thought it looked like a dragon, okay? So call me crazy, but I thought it looked like a dragon. So I used a zombie skin latex to create those little horns on the side to make it look more similar to Daenerys' dragon. Anyway, like I said, I got this from MostlyDead.com. It's an amazing website. You can get anything from teeth to prosthetics, blood, wigs, everything you need for your cosplay and for Halloween makeup, you can get off this website. Honestly, check them out and use code SNARY20 for 20% off your first order. 
Okay, so back to the tutorial. So I cut the prosthetic in half because we're only using the prosthetic on half of our face. And then I used the zombie skin latex to create the little horns alongside the prosthetic. And honestly guys, this is so perfect. Like if you guys are familiar with liquid latex, you know how it's so hard with, to work with and honestly can drive you crazy. This is so different than that. It's so easy to mold, easy to shape. It doesn't glue or stick on things. It's just so simple. Like you make the shape, you mold it into whatever you want it to be, perfect it, smooth it, and it stays. And I am in love with this. Like I made a little video to show you guys how simple it is to work with. I put some on my hand, I made like a little tower shape and flipped it over. And I just wanted to show you guys how perfect it is and how easy it is to work with. Okay, so we're going to glue that prosthetic down and make sure it's nice and glued on. Put some more glue if you feel like you need extra glue in certain areas. And the next step, I'm going to use another horn, another prosthetic horn, and we're going to glue that on our forehead next to the other mini horns that we did with the zombie skin latex to make ourselves look extra dragony, if that makes any sense. Okay, so here comes the fun part. We're gonna start painting the prosthetic. I'm using a black paint to paint all over the prosthetic. I am using the Kryolan Super Color Paint, but don't worry if you do not have this, it's okay. All you need is a cream black paint to use for this tutorial. And now I'm applying a dark brown paint on top of the black. My camera decided to not record but what I basically did was to extend that color down to my neck so I used brown and black on the edges to give it more depth and to make it seem like we are cracking into this dragon I drew little crack marks with an angled brush and now with a small concealer brush I am stippling white paint white cream paint on top of that on the highest points of the prosthetic I am mimicking scale shapes so I want it to seem like it's dragon scales and I'm only doing that on the highest points of the prosthetic to give it more dimension and now with red cream paint I'm gonna go ahead and apply a small amount on the outline of the nose and the outline of the eye shape Now for the horns, I'm using a copper metallic color and I'm using the one from Graftobian. Again, if you don't have that, it's okay. As long as you have a metallic copper color, you'll be just fine. So I'm applying that only on the horns. And now I'm just going back with that concealer brush and the cream white paint and reinforcing those scales. And remember, I'm only applying this on the highest points of the prosthetic. So every area that is high that's raised, I'm applying the white cream paint to give it more dimension. And we have reached the last step of this tutorial. So for the lips, I used the Supreme Lip Cream from Gerard Cosmetics in the color Wild Berry Tart. It's okay if you don't have this color, you can use a very soft nude pink on the lips and you'll be good to go. Thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to leave your thumbs up on this video, it really helps my little channel to grow. And also if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below so I can answer your questions for you. Don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you guys and until my next video. Mwah.